New tonight at 11. It is a jewel here in western New York, but 50 years ago, Lake Erie was considered a dead zone with no significant life in it. While overall conditions have improved thanks to rehabilitation, two on your side's Nate Benson reports new data suggests that the health of the lake is getting bad again. Lake Erie is one of the gems of western New York, but its health is not good. In fact, it's poor, according to a new report from the U.S. and Canadian government. The report, which studied all five Great Lakes, looks at a variety of conditions to create an overall assessment. Lake Erie is in the worst shape of the five. Well, I think the problem with Lake Erie is that because the lake itself is the shallowest, it's the warmest, and it's probably one of the most populated lakes, it has the most pressures upon it, um, which is also makes it the most vulnerable. I spoke with Jill Jedlicka, executive director of the Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper via Zoom from the trunk of my news wagon by the Lake Erie shore because it beats sitting in the office. What is the, the biggest area of concern for the overall health of Lake Erie? The biggest things that we're seeing um, that really haven't changed is the nutrient loading that's coming in the Western Basin, the legacy of toxic materials that are still you know, present in fish tissue, and also the destruction of shoreline habitat and, and the health of fish and wildlife in the lake. The 40-page report paints a bleak picture. The amount of nutrients and algae in Lake Erie, poor. While the walleye is plentiful, the phytoplankton and microscopic entities that are vital to the food chain, poor. Lake sturgeon population, poor. Coastal wetland fish and plant life, also poor. The biggest problem that we have is human behavior and human decisions that are affecting the health of our lakes. We cannot separate nature. We cannot separate the lakes and the fate of the lakes from what we as human beings are doing to them. While the report does suggest that the lake is improving in some areas, like the amount of toxic chemicals and sediment, water and wildlife, the overall ecosystem of the lake is poor and has an unchanging trend. But Jedlicka says if we take action, we can change that trend. And it starts with the daily decisions of land use and how town managers decide to develop or not develop their property. And then ultimately it's the individual citizen and it's the choices that you all make and we all make in our daily lives of whether we put pesticides on our lawns or not. You know, what packaging we purchase and, and is it necessary to use it and how we dispose of it. We, we've got a good start with Congress and, and the, the state investing heavily in clean water infrastructure. We're talking billions are headed the way towards the lakes. We need trillions, trillions of dollars to improve the infrastructure and um, the damage that's already been done. And it's not just the federal government that's dedicating dollars to clean up Lake Erie. New York State's committed 300 to 400 million dollars over the next few years to address a variety of issues. Reporting along the lakeshore, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News. All righty, Nate, thank you.